morning children today we are with the chap third chapter the northern plains now in our prior chapter we have learned about the northern mountains now this is the second division that is the northern plains now children i have divided it into two parts now let us see what are these two parts okay so first of all we learn about the location extent and features of the northern plains in the second part we learn about the satluj ganga and the brahmaputra river basins now let's look at the map the shaded part from the west that is from punjab to the east that is Pan uh, assam is the northern plains now the topmost portion is the northern mountains and south to this mountains are the northern plains now we see the length of the portion from punjab in the west to assam in the east is that it covers the distance of about 2400 kilometers in length and the width is 240 kilometers to 300 kilometers wide now the states which are in this portion that is the northern part are the states of punjab haryana uttar pradesh bihar west bengal and parts of assam now as we know a lot of rivers originate from the himalayas as they flow down to the plain area they bring along sand and silt at the banks of the rivers these plains are formed okay the northern plains are formed you have seen here by the fine silt brought down by the rivers originating from the himalayas now the fine silt deposited in the valley is called alluvium this alluvium soil is the most fertile soil and is good for growing crops now children we learn about the few terms in this lesson for example basin the area that is watered by a river and its tributary is called a, its basin now you will be learning about the three basins in this chapter now our next term is tributary a river that flows into a larger river so you have seen here the smaller streams larger streams smaller streams and smaller rivers which flow into the larger river and then distributary a branch of river that does not return to the main river after leaving it now these are the small channels or streams which flow into the main river okay it but the water does not come into the main river well now we will be knowing about the different basins what are the three different basins they are the satluj basin which is to the extreme western part then the middle part is the ganga river basin and the eastern part is the brahmaputra river basin so in the map you will find the shaded portion from punjab that is the first one you see number 1 that is the satluj river basin then number 2 the middle portion 
it is the ganga river basin and number 3 that is the eastern part that is the brahmaputra river basin so let's start off with satluj river basin it is formed by river satluj and its tributary river bears two states punjab and haryana are located in this basin the region faces extreme climate very hot in summers and very cold in winters this area does not receive much rainfall to help the farmers in irrigation the government has built many dams the bhakra nangal dam is built on river satluj it provides water for irrigation and to generate hydro electric city now the ganga river basin has been formed by the river ganga and its tributaries major part of the ganga river basin lies in uttar pradesh bihar and west bengal the ganga originates as bhagirathi from gangotri glacier in devprayag it is joined as alakananda river and both these rivers devprayag it is joined by alakananda river and both these rivers further flow as ganga now we'll know about the sangam that is the triveni sangam which me which is in alhabad river yamuna joins ganga at alhabad the place where these rivers meet is called sangam the other tributaries of ganga are gomti ghagra gandak and kosi which joins from north and chambal betwa and san joins from south Now let's move to the lower part of the Ganga river basin lies in West Bengal here the river flows very slowly and splits into number of branches called dis tributaries one such branch is Hooghly river on the banks which kolkata is located another branch is ganga enters bangladesh which is called the padma now we come to brahmaputra river basin the eastern part of the northern plains has been formed by the brahmaputra river this part is called brahmaputra river basin it originates in tibet near mansarovar lake it is also known as yarlung sangpo in their tibetan language brahmaputra river enters india through arunachal pradesh it flows through assam before entering bangladesh in bangladesh it joins padma ganga in india and forms the largest delta of the world called the sundar bans now children we come to the end of the first part and based on today's explanation i have put up five questions that is fill in the blanks so please answer them and you can tally them from the answers given below if you have